and welcome to another video from Gravity.io, this time talking about authenticating with JWT, Java Web Tokens. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we're going to head over to our APIM Manager console, and we're going to look for our API. Here we go. That's the R API. So at the moment, we've got an API. It's got a um, one one plan, which is our basic authentication token plan. But what we want to do is authenticate using JWT. So now let's create another plan. So um, let's go to here. Let's um, pick the plan name. So let's just call it Acme Travel JWT plan. Okay. Give it a description. This is a test plan. Okay. I think we're good on that page. Next. Let's pick the authentication type JWT that fills out um, another set of boxes. The signature I'm going to pick is HS256 HMAC and the given key. So this is asking for a resolve parameter. So this is essentially a HMAC256 um, secret. And luckily I've got one that I prepared earlier. So I'm just going to copy that in here and put that into there. Perfect. Okay, everything else is good. Okay, so let's do next. Um, let's just do save there. So now what I've done is I've created my plan. I'm just going to publish it. Perfect. So now I've done that, what I'm going to do is actually going to create a application to use that plan. So if we head over to our developer portal, I'm going to go create application. I'm going to call it Acme travel oops travel off jwt underscore app okay this is a test okay so got a description got a name travel off jwt app okay cool do next now i'm gonna pick my um application and I'm going to pick a client ID because we're going to need this in a bit. So I'm just going to pick a, a random client ID. Let's go for that. So that's cool. Let's do next there and let's find our application. OK, so let's find that. I think that's good. Cool. So I'm going to subscribe to that. OK, so I'm going to subscribe to that and then do next. OK, create the app. Perfect. So now head over to here. And then let's check for subscriptions. Let's just deploy that update. So let's go to subscriptions and you can see that our plan um, now has a subscription to it. So now let's accept that. Perfect. So now we're all good to go. So now let's head over to Postman. So at the moment, what we've done is that we've created a plan, a JWT plan we've created a application, but at the moment we don't have a token to send in here. So every time we hit send, we're going to get an author unauthorized. So now let's go and create our JWT token so that it's accepted. Okay. So let's head over to, um, this website, jwt.io. And what you can see here is just a, a, a great JWT generator. So at the moment it's HS256, which is correct. Let's add in our client ID. So if we just um, check that, so our client ID, oops, client underscore ID. Um, and if you remember, we put a few more numbers at the end there. So that should be right. Um, it needs an expiry. So let's just um, do expiry. And the number I'm going to go for is, you can see that's out of date slightly. So I'm going to go for 16291384411. Let's just check that. That's Monday the 16th. That's in the future. So that's good. Now, what we're going to do is, if you remember the key that we put when we created our, the secret that we put when we created our JWT plan, so I'm just going to go and grab that again because we're going to need it in there. And now what we've done is created our Java web token. Okay. On the right hand side. So it's got a header, a payload in pink 
and we've got the signature. Okay, so now let's take this token and head over to Postman. Okay, so at the moment it's unauthorized still, so if we send again, you can see tokens blank. If we now paste that token in that we've just generated from that website and then hit send, then you can see that it's authenticated. Now, it's not just any token, so if I put a character in there, it should fail. So it's actually accepted the JWT token and now it's authenticating. So in just a few minutes, I've been able to generate a JWT token and also authenticate um, using Gravity to actually hit my API correctly. Thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next video.